Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be explaining you how to write a test cases from a given user story. So I'll be providing you complete information from a given user story. How can we convert that user story into a test scenario then followed by a test case? I have taken the example of login functionality for this uh, user story to test case conversion. I am going to show the complete user stories and test scenarios in an excel sheet now. If you can see a right, this would be the format of any test case template. So we will have a user story id will be there, then followed by a user story description and test scenario id and test scenario description. Then so we will have a test case id, then test title. So what is the title of the test cases and also test case description if we are able to give it in very high level sometime it can be merged with the uh, detailed steps as well if it is uh, description is very high level you can put it in the description otherwise you should can merge with the detailed steps and we have a column test dependency for every test case there will be a certain dependency will be there in order to execute a given test cases that information will come under in this column then we have a expected results and actual results if both expected results and actual results are one and the same then the test case will pass otherwise test case will fail and also we will have another column test design who created this test case and who executed this test case this test case template you can use for both creation of the test cases as well as using the same template same test case template we can execute the test cases as well as you can record those results as well in the same sheet a given login functionality how many fields will be there we have a page will be there in that page so we will have a username will be there and password will be there followed by the login button will be there these are the three important fields will be there in the any login page apart from forgot password or forgot username the user story they will write in this way as a user as a user i wanted to log in with username and password that is the user story description it is a one liner as a user i wanted to log in with a username and a password now we wanted to convert this user story into further test scenarios this is the goal of this video where i will be further bifurcating into test scenarios and test cases now as per user story username should be there and a password should be there now what are the things we can verify as part of validating a login screen all fields all elements which are available in that login page i am going to ensure there is a username field password field and login button should be present in that page that is a one test case and what is the prerequisite for this test case is your web application should be up and running then what is the expectation out of this test case is I should be able to see all the fields in that page, login page, username, password and you should also have a login button should be there. That is the first verification we are going to make that is a test case. Then the second test case is I will be checking whether the username is enabled or disabled. In order to login page should work, username should be enabled. That is the expected results here similarly i am also going to verify a password field is enabled or not even here as well the password field should be enabled and it is available for editing that is also a third test case i am writing here similarly the button field as well the button field also we should check whether it is disabled or it is enabled by default the login button should be enabled irrespective whether you enter username or a password now we ensure that those fields are available then we should move on to the next step where we are going to test every field by inputting the right information or the right value now 
now we have another test scenario where i am going to verify particularly a username the username especially in this case i am going to verify the length of the username so how many character it can take by the username field because this is the assumption we have made after 40 if i try to enter additional value it should throw error message i can only take maximum of 40 characters similarly we can go and verify password fields also we can verify for uh, the minimum and maximum uh, the password value it can take minimum four character can be taken by the password or maximum up to 12 character it can be taken by the password field that is how also you can define yourself maybe you can cross check with your business analyst and product owner what is the expectation from them for their application the masking of password field is very much important because whenever we try to enter a password no one should be able to see that to make that happen whenever we try to enter the values in the password field then you should have a star should be seen in the password field if star is not visible then you should make this test case as fail otherwise you can make it as a pass of this test cases then the next test case is for any login page username and password field is very much mandatory if i'm not entering username and password field then login should fail login should throw an error message saying that you have not entered any username and password i'll be entering the valid username an invalid password that is the next test case if it is not throwing error message then there is a there is a bug is there next test case is i will be entering the username as a invalid username but i will be entering password as a valid password now how it should behave again it should throw error message if it is not throwing error message then you should log a defect for that next scenario is entering valid username and a valid password now what should happen when you when you enter both username and password as a valid thing then your login should be successful then it should take you to the home page of the application that is the expected results then the next test cases we can think of here is what about a certain application like bank application maybe every 15 days or every month the password will get expiry we should change to the new password and it is based on your requirement certain application may have this feature or certain login functionality may not have this feature then the next uh, kind of test cases you can think of here is when the user account itself deactivated whenever user account is deactivated whenever even entering valid name and valid password still it says your account is deactivated your account is expired that is a kind of error messages should throw whenever we log in with the active user only i should be able to log in inside whenever i try to log in with the deactivated user then login should fail that is a validation we should check here as part of this login functionality i am hoping now you got a clear idea how to convert a given user story in a single liner to multiple scenarios again further drilling down into more test cases in an excel format if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video